Alright, what's going on guys? Mr. Dragon here, and today I'm going to be bringing you a really simple tutorial. Um, this will take under 10 minutes, and it, in my opinion, it looks really good on 3D and 2D kind of backgrounds or, you know, web design, whatever you want to do, it looks very good. So, um, by the way, sorry if I um, sound quite different. I, uh, I do have a, um, a cold. I'm getting a cold now, unfortunately. Um, I'm going to open Photoshop and uh, this is what we're basically going to be making. Um, really nice bubbles. Um, you can change this to whatever color you want. If I go on this hue saturation, you know, just change the color and it looks awesome. So, um, yeah, it's really, really quick, really simple and uh, yeah, let's get started. So, first thing we want to do is uh, go on File, New, just make a new canvas. Uh, and then what you want to do is make the width 50 and the height 50. So just hit OK, and um, yeah. So this is just going to be the brush. So uh, don't worry. Um, you just want to zoom in by Control and Plus. That's how I zoom in. Press that a couple times. Uh, then go on the elliptical marquee tool, which is the second um, tool down from the toolbar. And then holding Shift, just click on one corner, and then um, drag it down to the opposite diagonal corner. So you just want to let go of that now, and then get the paint bucket tool, like that. Uh, create a new layer over here in this bottom uh, bar, and then make sure this is black. There we go. And then just fill that in. So you want to press Control D to deselect that. Uh, then you want to press um, Control and A or Command and A. Uh, then press this button here, which is the uh, what fifth? button along and um, you want it and this basically aligns it vertically I, yeah that that was right already and then press this which is the second button along which aligns it horizontally there we go because you want it in the middle uh, next thing you want to do is uh, just delete this background because you don't want that in your brush um, and then just press edit and then define brush preset then I'm gonna call this a uh, bubble why not uh, hit OK, and there we go. That that's our brush. Now we we want to close out of this. We don't really need it. We've already saved the uh, brush preset. Then we want to press uh, File New, and then you can you can do whatever size you want for this. Um, I'm gonna go 1280 by 720. There we go. Um, really ill. Uh, so what we're gonna do is uh, just fill this background first of all. Um, just get the fill paint bucket tool and uh, just make it I'm gonna make this a dark grey because uh, so you can see all the colors so uh, make this a bit darker that's that's fine so uh, first thing you want to do is create a new uh, layer and then uh, go on the brush tool which is over here I never really use these toolbars I just use uh, shortcuts B for the brush by the way so um, you want to right click anywhere on the canvas and then we should have the last one should be the one you just created I have two because um, because I had to try this out first so this is the one I have um, now as you can see if I change the color of this let's make it um, let's make this a nice make this a nice green I have some uh, swatches here let's make this uh, a nice turquoisey color. Um, so as you can see, it's just a dot here, and you know you don't really want this. So what you want to do here is just go onto brush. Now, if you don't have this on your uh, sidebar, just go to window and brush. Is it, is it brush? Yeah, it's brush. Yeah, just click on brush, and then there you go. You should already have that anyway. So first, you want to do is go to shape dynamics, put the size jitter all the way up, um, then yeah just leave that and then go on scattering just tick that scatter all the way up count all the way down count jitter all the way down and uh, yeah that's basically your brush preset done now what you want to do is just mess around uh, until you get the uh, the right you know until you get it to your liking now uh, uh, this this will take you a few times it might even take you just one once uh, no. no, there we go. That's fine with me. 
uh, hit V for the move tool, there you go, that's another shortcut. And to align it again, control and A or command and A, uh, vertical align, then horizontal align, press control D to deselect. And um, I'm just going to make this a bit smaller by control T that um, brings up the transform and then just going to rotate it a bit. There you go, I'm going to realign it again. Uh, it, it looks more professional to be honest. Uh, if you realign it. So uh, next you want to do to get this uh, kind of 3D effect is go on to your layer styles. Now bearing in mind this is you know not done in real flow or cinema 4D so you know it's only gonna work if you do it right and if your you know the basis of your object looks right. So you just want to go on this layer here and uh, double click on it. There we go and this is gonna br bring up our layer styles and then uh, you just want to click the first uh, box along and it's going to be called bevel and emboss now the only thing you want to mess around uh, in this little box is um, the size now you want to you just uh, change this just increase and decrease mess around with it until you find that um, see see here how it's like looks almost like a tablet like a pill you want it round so um, so you want it the point where this kind of inner circle just disappears where they need. That's fine with me. Just put it at 21. It might be different if you have a different size. Um, next thing we want to do is go to this highlight mode here. Just change this color to. Um, I'm going to make this a lighter version of this. Maybe make that a bit lighter. There we go. Sorry again if my voice sounds dead croaky. So um, <clears throat> you just want to. You just want to go to shadow mode uh, and then just change the shadow of this. Uh, I'm going to make this a darker color, obviously, because it's the yeah, shadow. Um, let's try the depth. Yeah, move the depth uh, a bit, and um, yeah, that should be it. That that that's like perfectly fine for me. Uh, if we can add a drop shadow for this as well, um, put the drop shadow distance to three. By the way, if you want to copy all these by, um, you know, exactly, then you can do. But you know, the way I find it, the way I learn Photoshop is just messing around, basically, just you know, messing around with all these levels, just like you know, what does this do? So, um, uh, just gonna move this up to about five. Spread. You want to leave that. Uh, boost this up a bit. Yeah, that's fine. Um, yeah, that's the drop shadow done. Next, you want to do is get this uh, inner glow and just change this color. You don't want gradient, just uh, go on color and then move this to entirely white. Now, you see this blending mode here, you want to move this to overlay. By the way, if I'm going too quickly, then uh, you know, be sure to pause the video. So, you want to just lower the opacity on to your liking. Um, or I'm just going to change this. Uh, here, I'm just gonna make this a bit lighter. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Um, in a glow, that that's actually it. To be honest, size five. Uh, you know, white overlay, opacity about sixty. That, uh, for me anyway. Then hit OK, and there you go. Uh, one thing you could also do is um, actually go on new style, and then you can uh, call this. Um, not bubble, bubble effect, and uh, I'm just gonna press OK, and then if you hit OK now, you'll actually find this in your swatches, not your swatches, sorry, um, your layer styles uh, tab. So if you go on styles, again, if you don't have that, go on Windows and uh, <coughs> styles, uh, then you should have it here, and there you go. So if I create an if I create a new layer um, and then do that and then if I just press this there you go it's uh, so uh, really handy if you want to uh, do this all in a hurry and um, well yeah that's basically it I mean if you want to change the color of this like like you change your mind just click on um, this kind of yin and yang uh, circle here just press that and then go on hue and saturation and then move this hue bar um, to your liking so you can you know you can make this pink make this red 
I mean, you could even use this for blood splatters if you want. Just make that red. I'm gonna make this into a nice green, like I said earlier. Well, that's nice. There we go. So, um, yeah, guys, if you enjoyed this uh, tutorial, then uh, please do comment and subscribe, and let me know what you thought of it. I am, I am, you know, willing to learn because I'm not very, <laughs> very good at um, editing and stuff. So please do let me know. Give me some feedback. Hit a like if you learned something, and uh, if you actually. Um, you know, if you like this tutorial, obviously. Um, and yeah, that's it, basically. Please do let me know for any more tutorial ideas. And um, yeah, that, 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 that's it, really. Please um, do comment, subscribe, and all that jazz. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all later. Peace.